Valentine's Day, it's all about, of course, appreciating the people you love in your life, right? For one Newington couple, their love has lasted decades, and today, they renewed their vows. NBC Connecticut's Jennifer Joas has more on their love story that has transcended time. I think there's more people here than at the church when I got married. Clement Sinatro, otherwise known as Sonny, entered the gathering room at Cedar Mountain Commons in Newington, ready to renew his vows to his teary-eyed bride, Eugenia, or Jean. The two have a love story that dates back to their childhood. They met as teenagers, both growing up in Hartford. After dating two years, they decided to tie the knot and were pioneers at the time. My wife is Greek Orthodox, and uh, her priest had no problem with us getting married in the Catholic Church, but he also said that if she did not get married in the Greek Church, uh, she could be excommunicated. So Sonny says they first got married in the Catholic Church in October of 1965, then in April got married in the Greek Church. Sonny says they were the first ones to have a mixed marriage at the altar. Now 54 years later on Valentine's Day, the staff at Cedar Mountain Commons offered to host a vow renewal for them, for a couple that really knows the depths of love. 54 years ago, you made a marriage covenant before God whereby you became husband and wife. The future which lay before you with its joys and its sorrows was hidden from your eyes. Yet you took each other for better or for worse. They repeated new vows. I do. And join hands. I claim it renew to you, Jean. Then celebrated with their friends, cut the cake. I like that shot. And flipped through their old wedding album and pictures of their life together. We've had a good life. We've been blessed. As for any advice they'd give to other couples, Sonny says they don't have any, just that. We're in love. We're in love. I love her just as much today as I did 54 years ago, and she loves me just as much. In Newington, Jennifer Joas, NBC Connecticut News.